Carl the weatherman got it right again. Another fantastic sunny day outside. Oh, it's raining. But I thought it was in for like five weeks of red hot sun and all that. Oh, this just must have just sad to control the sky out so you can't see anything. As you can see, the most scary chart on the planet you need to see. Now this is very similar to what it was like in 2008. We all know what happened then. This is what it's going like now, so uh, it looks like we're about to have another mega financial crash, engineered by them of course. Um, they're just waiting for the right timing to distract you from the biggest push for world domination. Uh, yeah, Deutsche Bank are about to go pop, and when they do, the whole system's coming crashing down. And it may be what's needed to wake those that are still asleep up. You know, like, well, well it's only just over 10 years ago when we had another financial crash. How come we've had another one? Can we trust the people in power? And the answer, of course, is no. Deal. Noel Edmonds wins five million from Lloyds over claims criminal bankers destroyed his business. Well, that's great, but that's almost like selling out, really, isn't it? Because, I mean, five million to Lloyds is, is, is nothing. It's, it's probably about the same what is the, the CEO, Anthony Osora, gets uh, per year's wages. So it's, it's nothing. Um, w w what penalties have they paid? Who's been locked up? Oh, no one. Well, it's almost like the banks can just do what they like and they get away with everything all the time. Or should we say the Rothschilds, because that's what it really is. <clears throat> Noel Edmonds strikes multi-million pound compensation deal with Lloyds. The, the deal or no deal stars a, a, agreement is thought to be in the region of five million. In other words, they don't know. He claimed Crooks working in the reading branch of HBOS had wrecked his firm. Noel Edmonds has struck a multi-million pound compensation deal with Lloyds over claims that criminal bankers destroyed his business. Mr. Esmond has said that Crooks working in the Reading branch of HBOS, which was bought by Lloyds in 2009, wrecked his entertainment film, driving him to attempt suicide. The agreement thought to be in the region of five million halts, a bitter clash with which says Mr. Edmonds rail against Lloyds in public meetings and even set up a website attacking its bosses. <coughs> The deal or no deal star said his business unique group was destroyed after it fell into the clutches of Mark Dobson, an HBOS employee who was jailed for a separate fraud in 2007. Thief caught on CCTV stealing life-saving equipment from an ambulance while paramedics treat a patient. The lout sneaked into the back of a vehicle at 3 a.m. and made off with vital kit. That's the picture of him. Let's see if we can identify this wanker. Police are hunting a thief who was caught on CCTV stealing life-saving equipment from an ambulance. The crook struck at as paramedics treated a patient who had collapsed in the property nearby. Police are hunting the thief after he was caught on uh, the ambulance's security cameras. He broke into the ambulance after a paramedic's parked it outside a house of a patient in Shrewsbury, Shropshire, at 3.30am on July 15th. The crew rushed, to, rushed the patient on blue lights to Royal Shrews, Shrewsbury Hospital. It was only once <coughs> they had handed over the, to staff at a, in A&E what they had what were able to assess what had been taken. John Ostrisky of West Midlands Ambulance Services said the discovery that a number of items of equipment were that were used to manage a patient airway, mainly endo tranches, blades and ooh, I don't know what that is, had been taken. Let's catch this wanker. Boris Johnson. No ifs or buts, we are out of Europe on 31st of October. Now you heard that. No ifs or buts. We're out on 31st. Apparently we're left on 29th of March anyway, but... Boris Johnson has promised to restore trust in democracy. <laughs> in his first speech as Prime Minister. Standing outside the doors of Number 10, he paid tribute to Theresa May's 
fortitude and gave a message up to the doomsters who doubt that UK's future outside of the European Union. He said, we will come out on 31st of October. No ifs, no buts. We will do a no deal or and a better deal. The British people are tired of waiting. T the time has come to act. Mr Johnson claimed he will have Brexit cracked in 99 days time, adding, but you know what? We are, aren't going to need 99 days. The time has come to act, to make a decision to give strong leadership and to change his, this country for the better. Now remember that Johnson is a, an out and out self-confessed Zionist. So the only country he actually really cares about is Israel. 5G network being pushed on the public with zero concern for safety. The FCC, Federal Communication Commission, is pushing to streamline the approval of 5G cell towers, overriding the little regulation that exists to legalise use of experimental high frequency without extensive safety testing. Untreated fre <coughs> untested frequencies in the range of 28 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz or more are set to be deployed all over the us without our consent, emanting, emitting emanating from an uh, even greater number of new small cell towers. Links in description if you want to read the X, there's quite a bit there. Bastille Day Hoverboard carries gun-toting flying soldiers during military parade in Paris. Now this is what they want the future of military to be, but the future of military should be no military. A French inventor has shown off a jet-powered hoverboard during the annual Bastille military parade in France. Frank Zapata, a former jet ski champion and army reservist, flew about above the crowd carrying a rifle in a demonstration of the potential military uh, application of this flyboard invention. European leaders including French President and traitor Emmanuel Macron and German Chancellor and traitor Angela Merkel applauded the flyboard as it passed overhead. French Armed Forces Minister Florence Barley said the technology could be used to create flying soldiers that could take to the battlefields in the future. She told France Interior Radio that the flyboard can also test for different kinds of users, for example as a flying logistic platform or indeed as a assault platform. France is breaking apart. Will they ever recover? John Alexander Patterson. Listen to Steve in a nutshell. It's the Jews. It's always been the Jews. The Jewish Bolshevik revolutionary brutally tortured, raped and murdered tens of millions of white Christian Russians and they published in their media a story that Hitler gas burnt turned into lampshades and bars of so six million Jews. 18 effing years before Hitler ever came into power. Oh yeah, it's a miracle. Links in the description if you want to read the rest. Now this one you are going to have to read because this is long, but it's the Steele dossier. Confidential sensitive source, Company Intelligent Report 2016-080. UK presidential election Republican candidate Donald Trump activates in Russia and compromising relationship with the Kremlin. As I said, it's a long document, but it's very interesting, especially a bit about uh, Clinton and whatnot. You definitely want to have a read of that. Google executive caught on hidden camera saying that they will stop Trump's re-election. Update June 27, 2019 at 11.12 EST. Uh, Vimeo appears to have deleted the video and Project Veritas account. The video is still available on BitChute. Washington DC, June 26, 2019. Employers at social media giant Google referred to big name politically corrective personalities like Jordan Patterson and Ben Shapiro as Nazis and suggested a, met a method in which their outreach could be lessened. Leaked documents reveal an undercover video also shows Google employee admitting that the a company is trying to prevent another Trump situation from happening again in 2020 election. Undercover investigators at Project Ver Veritas claim that 
internal Google documents show that Google employees labelled Conservative personalities Jordan Patterson, Dennis Prager and Ben Shapiro as Nazis. Both Prager and Shapiro are observant Jews. <coughs> the leaked email was sent among members of Google's Transparency and Ethics Group and called for removing the above-named individual content from Google's suggested feature when users make internet searches at Google. Project Veritas reported that the leaked document appears to contradict an employee's claim that Google is employees' words has no not notion of political ideology uh, in its search ranking. <coughs> Shapiro responded to the claim on Twitter and tagged you YouTube CEO Susan Wojcik writing, Hey Susan Wojcik, would you t would love to discuss this with you? Do you think your employees should be uh, cavalierly labelling those who militantly hate white supremacy Nazis and then sh shaping algorithms on a, the basis of such lies? The pro-life Shapiro is a frequent critic of the so-called alt-right and some nationalist groups. Google should be dismantled and the CEOs should be arrested and locked away. Boris Johnson's call for UK GMO crops draws support for farm union. So this is the real Boris Johnson and what he's doing here is trying to poison us because ge genetically modified food has not been tested for any side effects or any long term test on it. So this is a part of the depopulation plan and he wants to push it. British farmers could get the chance to plant genetically modified crops as part of Boris Johnson's Brexit. So they're doing it like this is a good thing, when in actual fact it's a bad, really, really bad thing. The new Prime Minister wants the UK to liberate its bioscience sector from rules against genetically modified organisms, he said in his first full speech since taking office this week. That would mark a shift from much of the European Union, which largely has restrictions on such crops amid concerns about environment and health impacts whereas the leader of Britain doesn't give a shit about health or concerns of any kind let's just go away and, and shove it down our, our public's face shall we let's develop a blight resistant crop that will feed the world Johnson said Wednesday that's how they're selling it to us the National Farmers Union cheered the comments saying the move may help farmers use the best technology to and be competitive Johnson's st stance highlights this shake-up that may be coming to the UK's farming sector as a, the country prepares for Brexit. So what oh, Brexit? It's been nearly three years. In fact, it's been over three years and we ain't had it. Uh, some opponents are worried that new trade deals could lead to Britain shifting its stance on food products such as seeds and chlorine-treated chicken after talks with the US earlier this year. A spokeswoman from the for former Prime Minister Monster Theresa May said the UK wouldn't lo lower food standards in any deal. While uncommon in Europe, GMO crops are a mainstay in many of the world's top crop producers. Much of the corn and soybeans grown in the US, Brazil and Argentina have come from GMO seeds for years and Spain sows some of the crops. There are also such varieties of cotton, canola and sugar beet that around the world. Body-worn cameras to be compulsory for bailiffs. Doesn't say anything about turning them on though, does it? Body-worn cameras are to be compulsory for bailiffs under government plans to improve the treatment of people in debt. The Ministry of Justice has said the move, which only affects England and Wales, should help protect those in debt from intimidation and aggression used by some bailiffs. But Citizens Advice said the cameras would do nothing to protect people. It wants an independent regulator to crack down on the industry. Bailiff body cameras will do nothing but to protect people while there is no industry regulator to oversee how they are used, said Citizens Advice Chief Executive Gillian Guy. The moment Diana discovered Prince Charles' love affair with Camilla. You would have to be a monster not to feel sorry for her. Tucked away behind a throng of people, Lady Diana Spencer, then 19, fought back tears and bit her lip. She was standing at a London airport wearing a distinct red coat, watching footage of the moment her heart broke 
in is palpable. It was March 29, 1981, and Diana was at the airport to farewell her, her fiancé Charles, Prince of Wales, as he departed for a five-week international tour of Venezuela and Australia, engaged for only a month. The brief took the brief, he briefly touched her arm chastisly chastisly Chast chastily kissing her on both cheeks ooh ah stop it you two and then cheerfully boarded his plane in a natty suit back at the tarmac Diana was it tearing up as with everything all the rest links in description if you want to read the full story but we all know the true story 5G class action lawsuit filed against the FCC by Munich municipalities across the USA. The screenshot posted below was taken from a class action lawsuit aimed at first slowing down the, and the vacating the FCC order and declaration ruling pr uh, purporting to streamline the deployment of wireless facilities by preempting local government authorities. It is critical for every US citizen to understand that this in illicit and highly consequential order by the FCC is wholly unprecedented. It is also reckless to the extreme. Much more significantly, however, this FCC ruling represents a massive and complex criminal conspiracy that will seriously injure the American people. That the FCC would blatantly attempt to unlawfully uh, arrogate power unto itself to foist, foist 5G on the entire nation represents the highest of federal overreach and government hubris. <clears throat> Such an illegal order is clearly a, a tyrannical love up by the US federal government to improperly impose the development of 5G on every city and country in the states. Not only is the this usurpation of municipal authority completely unconstitutional, it's a flagrant violation of various federal laws, state st statutes, county codes and city ordinances. Child poverty cash handed back to Europe, Europe unspent. Now you just think about that, we've got children starving and on the streets and this frigging government didn't give the cash to the, those that need it just left it in the back. Oh no, you can have it back now because we hate our kids because we, 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 all we do is rape them and murder them anyway. So, but that just shows how criminal this bunch of hypocrites are. More than three and a half million pounds intended to alleviate child poverty and homelessness is at risk of being wasted because the government has failed to spend it, says a House of Lords committee. Peers have written to the Home Office saying it is extraordinary that the EU funding not, has not been used. They warn that some of the cash has already been fortified and are worried about the rest being handed back. The government said there had been barriers over spending the money. Yeah, they never normally have barriers over spending money, do they? But peers have written to complain that after almost six years, the government has failed to deliver spending aimed at addressing the worst forms of poverty. Grizzly find. Mystery as human body parts and organs found in 100 rubbish containers Britain sent to Sri Lanka for recycling. A probe has been launched amid claims shipping containers sent to Sri Lanka from the UK contained body parts disguised as recyclable materials. Customs officials at the port of Colombo now plan to send back more than 100 of metal crates after making the gruesome find. The Telegraph. Telegraph. Savage Javid's Brexit blitz to prepare for no deal. New Chancellor says he will immediately splash cash on border police and TV adverts. Well, wait a minute. Where's that cash come from? Because we've got people on the streets, you know, and starving, but suddenly you've got cash to do... Well, you're just talking lies anyway, because your mouth's moving, and as we know, whenever your mouth's moving, you're lying. Johnson, a brighter future starts with... buses. Warning, wind farm costs could double electricity bills. Well, then, what a shock. Career focused students shun English A level. The Observer. 
ex-Chancellor plots with Labour to kill Johnson, no deal Brexit. Hammond met Dahmer after quitting. Poll shows seven point Boris bounce. Politicised trans groups put children at risk, expert. Well, that's obvious. Any hope of avoiding calamity rests on the decision the Tory moderates, moderates and the leadership, uh, Labour leader, 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 leadership express. Don't mess with Boris. 72% of the public demand MP let but PM get on with Brexit. But Nigel Farage warns him, don't take us for fools. A bit late for that. The fail. Exclusive Moss poll reveals Boris gets his bounce. 10% rise in support for Tories with him as PM. Most think there will be election this year and MP's sex charge could wipe out majority. <clears throat> Carrie's dilemma over meeting the Queen at Balmoral. Waste of paper. Exclusive Rocket Sean. My four day strippers and dwarfs bender. Lucy's back on the beach. Sunday Times. Boris vows no deal Brexit by any means necessary. War cabinet of six to deliver Johnson's mission. Gove will work on the basis EU will not budge. Conservatives bounce to 10 point lead over Labour. Police knew I was innocent, says smeared war hero. And finally. Men say that women should come with instructions. What's the point of that? Have you ever seen a man read the instructions? That's so true. We get, we get something that you need to put together. The instructions are, we'll, we'll sort it out. And to be fair, we usually do. Okay, so we have to all look at instructions, but let's just buy it. Buy. How fast can you guess these words? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Answer. One. Book. Two. Random. Three. Fork. Four. Pants. Five. Pulse. Six. Six. You got all six wrong, didn't you? You dirty-minded little buggers, you. Would you answer this call? And while you're thinking about that, more importantly, have you got his number on your phone? Yeah, oh, you're like the Vatican, are you? You know, the, the Pope there, he's got a... He's on speed dial, direct to... Well, not that particular God, it's direct to Satan, of course. See you later.